So you've got your pattern and you're excited to start sewing, but you're dreading the tedious pattern piecing process. We all know that assembling a pattern always takes longer than expected, and I'm gonna break down why it's not cost effective either. Today, we're talking about two superior solutions to printing your PDF patterns at home. Let's start by breaking down the last pattern that I pieced together at home, which was the Helen Jeans by Anna Allen. This pattern has a wide leg, a straight leg, and a skinny leg view, and is a total of 93 pages of printer paper. The paper that I just purchased was 500 sheets for $6. So let's say the entire jeans pattern cost about $1 in paper. My ink cartridges cost $24 each and I used about one third of a cartridge so that comes out to $8. I also went through a whopping six rolls of tape which was $17. So all in all that's a total of $26 and probably four hours of time to print and piece this pattern. Not to mention the price of the pattern which was an additional $16. Now if you're an avid sewer that price might still surprise you. It's not often that we take a step back to look at the price of our hobby. But if there was a better and more cost-effective solution out there, why wouldn't we be choosing it? So I present to you a company called PDF Plotting. All you have to do is upload your PDF pattern to the website and it'll tell you how much it costs. To print all views of the Helen Jeans pattern, it's $7.88. Now, this is obviously a lot less money than the breakdown of doing it at home and not to mention all of the time that it's going to save you. But I'd be lying if I said that's the whole picture, so let's take a deeper look. We also need to take into consideration the minimum order amount and the price of shipping. The minimum order order amount is $12, so if I buy a pattern that's $7.88, I would also get charged an extra $3.65 to round it out to $12. Then if you're shipping to my address, it costs $10.99. The total for this pattern is now $22.99. This may seem like a lot of money, but remember that the cost of doing it at home was $26 plus about four hours of your time. PDF plotting is even better if you have multiple patterns to print. Since paper is super light, even if you add more patterns, your shipping cost isn't going to go up. You also won't have a minimum order charge if you have more than $12 worth of patterns. In my most recent purchase, PDF Plotting printed six patterns for me. The total including shipping was just $36.66, which is only a total of $6.11 per pattern. The order was shipped the next day and it was in my hands just a few days later. Also, because the pattern is just one large sheet of paper, it's way easier to store. If you have any interest in how I store my paper patterns, please leave a comment down below. All in all, I highly recommend PDF Plotting. They're helping you save time, money, Money and resources. After doing a lot of research, they've also proven to be cheaper than any of my local options. Now, unfortunately, PDF plotting only ships to the US, so if you're not US based, the second option is definitely for you, and that is using a projector. Projectors can be a bit pricey up front, but the time, money, and resources you save in the long run are totally worth it. Although I haven't used this method myself, it comes very highly recommended from lots of other sewists. And also, who doesn't dream of a time where you can sew without any physical paper patterns? It's better for the planet, better for your wallet and you would never have to store paper patterns ever again. Since I haven't personally used this method, I wanted to link a resource for you to learn more about it. Down in the description, you'll find a link to a Facebook group called Projectors for Sewing. This is a great resource for any questions you have and you can find recommendations on projectors that other sewists have used. Now I've got a bonus tip for any of you who have gotten this far in the video and that is to keep your patterns intact and to not cut into them. If you're using paper patterns, do not cut out your preferred size. Instead, use tracing paper to trace out your preferred size and then cut the tracing paper out. Although this does take extra time, it will ensure that you won't have to reprint the pattern if, for example, your body changes or if the size you thought you wanted wasn't actually the best size for you. Now, if you like this video, you'll probably like my video on intentional fabric shopping, so just click or tap the screen to learn all about choosing fabric with a plan. Thanks for being here, and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable content. Bye!